Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Sneaking Spider Web. Um, Hello. This is the Portal Gun mod. As you can see in my mods, it says Portal Gun right Zero here. Zero child mods. Zero. I don't know what child mods means, but who cares? <laughs> because obviously you came here to watch us play video games, not to hear us lecture about things. So, um, the Portal Gun mod <laughs> made by iChun. It's made for 1.4.2. Actually, I think it's updated to 1.4.4 right now, but I found it easier to do it for 1.4.1 point. If I could talk, never mind. Okay, well, anyway. 1.4.2. Yeah, okay, let's, let, let, let's delve in. Okay, um, let's delve into this. Now, that's nice not a boob. boob. That, that's nice. not, it's not a boob, okay? Yes, it it's is. It's a pocket. It's not a boob, it's a pocket. Okay, so. Now, we got the... Oh, wait, see it. Whoops, you did not see that. <laughs> I'm bad. Wait, let me uh fix something. There we go, survival. Okay, so um though that checkpoint thing, pay no attention to that for now because that's that's over yonder there. Okay, so this is the portal gun right here. It's on a pedestal, which I'll show you how to craft all these things. It's um, so cute. Yeah, and it also kind of looks like uh you have a portal gun for an arm. It's kind of awkward looking, if you ask me. But oh well. Um, now that that's how you craft a portal gun. And if you craft the portal gun with light blue dye or dandelion yellow, you can get the co-op portal guns for Portal 2. Co-op portal guns. What? Co-op portal guns. Yeah, there's a co-op mode. Um, it Hello? Does, yeah, there's a lot of me right there. If you push R, <laughs> you can get rid of the portal. And it drops your FPS down to about half whenever you uh, use them. Well, that's just on my computer. I'm not sure. What other people will experience, but yeah, that's how you do it. And also, if you craft the portal gun... Why did that gun, yellow gun turn red? Uh, because the last portal I shot was a red. It's red. See you. And after I shoot an orange one, it turns red again. Oh. Now, um... Still well, red. Yeah, I know. It's because I shot a red one before. <laughs> but whatever. Okay. <laughs> now, if you craft it with a raw pork job, you can get this one. I call this one my personal Barney gun. Because, it's the bacon uh, bits gun. Or if... Yeah, okay then. So, um, yeah, it has, like, personal colors, I guess, because not everyone has the same colors. Mine are um, purple and green. I don't know how to change them, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, you can obviously get to see yourself through the portals. Um, yeah. Now, enough with these guns. Um, let me get the normal one out. Okay, so now, that checkpoint block that you just saw, and if you can see, like, it's all weird, if you can see it. It breaks faster than a NOLA iron block. It's because of this. Now, it kind of has an Ooh, awkward crafting that's recipe. That's quite a crafting recipe. Yeah. Now, um, if you place it down, it'll it'll look like any block that you the block that you place it under. You can check for enabled. I don't know why you would have this set to no. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> maybe as a, die, as a disguise uh, block. Maybe. Um, if you place it, no. If you pass it and you die. Um, if you have these checked to no, your portals and your and your items will still be in your inventory. But if you have set the yes, they'll they'll be gone like normal. Portal entities, I don't really know. Print message. Eh. Is it like oh, send it to your printer? And... Oh wait, no, that's probably like um. Remember whenever whenever I stepped on it um at first it said checkpoint. Oh. Uh, that's probably what it means. Like Okay, well we have that, we have that. Um, the red, the uh, portal gun pedestal, what's that? You can just put a march click on it with a portal gun. There you go, it's right there. It's so cute. Yeah, and if you walk next to it, you'll pick it back up. Now, this thing, the material emancipation grid, you put that down, it'll turn into this. And um, if you have portals that are active and you walk through it, it'll make the portals go away. And what's it's supposed to happen, and oh, also if you push G, uh, you can't do that on. Um, checkpoint blocks, but anyway, if you press G, pay no attention to that block. Hey, it's the outside! No, it's not the outside. Anyway, um, if you push G while looking at a block, you can pick it up like a normal gun, um, but the, it doesn't get shattered by the material emancipation grids, which is quite odd. I think you need to edit like a file. Because the name is material emancipation grid. It's a material. It should emancipate it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever. Well, into this big, gigantic room. Um, pay no attention to the Lighting and what's with the lighting? Shut up. Um, it's haphazardly thrown. Okay. Well, this is a 
what is that? Aerial Faith Blade. Right on that sign. Um, that's like it kind of got a weird rest crafting recipe to it. But um, now before I started recording this, there was a weird bug with this that um, they didn't have sounds whenever I launched them. I don't know if they're, I don't know if they're gonna have sounds right now, but oh well. Now, but yeah, oh well. yeah, they didn't have sounds, and sometimes that one's a little bit wonky. But uh, obviously, I took some damage there. But if you have played the Portal games, you would know that the main character Shell or Chell or whatever her name is, whatever, has long fall boots. You need to craft two of these. You need to craft both of them together to get the long fall boots. And you can put pretty heavy on. boots. Yeah, they're yeah, and they make you look all spiffy like that. And they negate all fall damage, so that's all fine and dandy. Now, hopefully this works this time. Yep, there we go. That's what it's supposed to do. And it didn't take any fall damage that time, because obviously that kind of thing. Um, let's see, uh, what, what, what else do we have? Electronic intelligence indicator. It's basically just, if the redstone signal hits it, it just, uh... It's basically it, like a redstone torch. Pretty much. Actually, yeah, yeah I was just going to compare it to that. Now, portal spawner. This is a little bit. This is a weird one. Um, actually, I should probably let me spawn another portal gun real quick because there is a thing thing going on with this one. Um, there we go. I think that's it. No, that's not it. You already have one in your inventory. Yeah, but I need to spawn. Okay, let me. See. Okay, so I have another one. Now, if you if you I should probably show you this too. If you smelt a portal gun, um, uh, while that smelts, um, I'm going to place this down. Um, if you smelt the portal gun and you have a portal spawner, and um, I'm going to set it to, to orange because the one I'm smelting is blue. Now, it basically, see I have a portal gun, and this one only lets you spawn a blue portal. And it has a potato on there. So when you smelt it, it's like locked to the color that it looks like? Yeah. Um, the, I guess like... Why does it have a potato the, on it? Uh, you you need to play Portal 2 to understand. It's like a reference to uh, Glados, ish. Because I'm a potato. That dude over there, his name is Wheatley. He uh, put Glados into a potato, and eventually you put Glados, the potato form, onto your portal gun, and you're just stabbing her with it. Oh well, but um, it behaves almost the same way as a normal portal gun, except you can only shoot the blue portal. Now, if you do this. If you ignite that portal with a redstone, whatever, um, it's really meant for only this type of gun. You can do it with a blue one and have a red one right here too. But also, um, if you do that, since you can only shoot a blue portal, it's meant for like a. It's a, it's hard to explain. Stationary transportation. I guess like a. It's more for ah, um in the beginning of Portal Two, um you only have like. Um, you're given this gun, and you have well without the potato on it, and you need to. Then the, these things are everywhere, and you just have to use that. It's kind of like a tutorial, maybe. Oh well, well, okay. Well, I really think. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that's how we do that. Um, okay, have fun with that. Uh, let me put that back. And, have fun with that. Yeah, let me put that portal gun back. Okay, long fall boots. I already showed you that. Um, weighted and storage companion cubes. Now, I like these ones. Ah, I forgot to do that. I backed up my world, but then I forgot to put this back in the chest. So if you have a storage cube, let me grab some cyan dye. Um, if I can find it. Cyan dye. And let me grab a water bucket. Okay, so if you have a weighted storage cube, and you right-click with cyan dye, it makes it all bouncy. And it sounds kind of like a basketball to me. <laughs> now, I really hope, um, I really hope these, this thing can't uh, bounce on top of pressure plates and activate them because if they can, um, I don't really want that blowing up right now. <laughs> Spoiler. So, shut up. So, to if this annoys you for some reason, but I it wouldn't annoy me because this is awesome. Um, you just put water down and hope that it lands in it. I guess. Because you can't really control them after you grab it, so let's see if let's see if it uh, feels like it kind of. It kinda looks like it's running away. Yeah, it's kind of sporadic. Let me let me try to chase it, chase it, chase it. Oh, yeah, okay. Come on, wait. I need to get him towards me. Yeah, come on. No, come on. 
Yes, okay, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a little game. Yeah, I guess. Okay, so now I got that. Um, you can also pick that up. You can pick this up with the uh, material emancipation. No, this is not a material emancipation grid. Portal gun. You portal up, gun! You can pick it up with a portal gun. You can push it, and it's not like an actual solid block that you can't do anything. And you can also pick this up with your hands. And any other item, I guess. Now, let me put that back down. Um, now, if you craft a... No, actually, no. Whoops. Okay, now. If you have a weighted storage cube, and you... Well, why did I have that? Okay. This weighted storage cube on the ground. If I right-click it with a rose, it turns into a companion cube, and it turns pink. And it's all lovey-dovey. Now... If you have, let me, okay, let me spawn some spawn zombie eggs. Where, aha, there they are. Okay, and let me put it too easy and take some damage, because it will. Okay, so I'm going to take some damage real quick. So, wow, these zombies. Okay, let's run away. And turn it back to peaceful. Okay, there. Now, the way to... Companion cube will, if, as long as it's in your inventory, it'll heal you. Now, it doesn't heal you this fast. It's only because I'm uh, regenerating from hunger too. But uh, yeah, that's what that's what weighted the uh, companion cube does. Now, let me put that back in there. Whoops, that was a failure. Wow. Yeah. Now these things, the vents, if you power them with a redstone torch, with uh, just throw a redstone torch out here. Um, if you power them, it'll spawn the corresponding block or the cube that you wanted. And you can obviously do everything. The only problem is that you can't really get rid of them unless you spawn another one. And even then, that's not really getting Are rid of Are these vents in the game, too? What? Yeah, these everything everything in this mod is in the game, Louie. Oh, shut up! <laughs> well, except for, with the exception of these things. Those are in Portal 1, not in Portal 2. But, um... Hmm. Yeah, for some so reason. So the name lies. Okay then. Well, various vents. You already know. You can just switch out the uh, crafting table. No, the crafting recipe is the same. You just need to switch out the corresponding cube. Now with this thing, the redirection cube, the discouragement redirection cube. This is this is this one's cool. Now, what you got? Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna actually place it down. I'm gonna spawn with one of these. Okay, so you got that. That's how you craft it. Yeah. Okay, now um, I'm just gonna put that right here because I, I can't really show you until I show you stuff. In that chest right here. Okay, so now the high energy, high energy pellet stuff. It's basically like, um, beware if you if you ever use this mod, do not touch this ball. It will explode and kill you. Now it kind of it kind of bounces destroy everywhere. Blocks? No, it doesn't destroy blocks. It actually, I'll show you what happens if. Yeah, let me show you what happens if I can break it. There we go. Um, let's see. Okay. If I just break this again, it's just gonna bounce. Okay. It's gonna bounce and leave like a dent. It looks like a dent. See what the... Uh, maybe it doesn't leave a dent, but it bounces back. Um, and it just keeps bouncing until it hits this thing I'm holding. So I'm just gonna just put it back there. And I don't really want to touch that because I'm in survival mode, but um, that'll go and we'll send an electronic redstone circuit anywhere. Everywhere, in all directions. Would it go for an infinite amount no, of No, no, it's distance? like... Like, no, it's like, uh, what's it called? Once once that little ball thing touches this, it just acts as a redstone torch, pretty much. No, but, like, could you send that ball to the other end of the map? Oh, yeah, it goes on forever, and it goes on forever. Okay, so now you got the, um, what, what is this called? Discouragement, discouragement beam stuff. Now that's how you craft it. And there, there he is right there. Um, let me there he this. is. Let me snag this redstone torch. Now, you'd think since it's a laser, it might hurt you. But no, it just makes you spaz out and makes a horrible hissing sound. Hissing it, sound. it makes you spaz out really badly and it looks ridiculous. I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, with that... Oh, right, now here comes a redirection cube. Now, with the redirection cube, uh, say that this... that you need to open a door, and to open that door, you need this beam to trigger this thing, which is just a sensor, and that thing at the same time. Now, this is where the redirection cube comes in. Now, you put the cube, if I could, you put the cube right here. It's basically just like a laser. You're just redirecting a laser, pretty much. It's all like laser. with mirrors. Yeah, kind of. And oh, that's all you gotta do. It just goes right there. That's activated. 
Um, yeah, that's about it for those. Now, for sake of me running around, I'm going to turn this off. And so we got that. Good. Uh, good that's how you craft all this stuff. Um, and Louis' favorite part: turrets. Turrets. Now these things. They kind of they're a little bit buggy for me. I'm not sure if they're gonna they don't work 100% of the time. I've only gotten them to shoot me actually one, probably once or twice on just me playing around with this mod. Now they make they stay stuff from the game whenever you place them. I'm down useless. And whenever they die, and uh, are still there. Yeah, he's quite fond. Lou is quite fond of the turrets. Um, so I'm gonna place a few down and see what they say. He didn't say anything. Wow. Um, push him over. Wait, they don't always say something. Why? Well, they say stuff when you kill them. Wait, one sec. But why aren't you saying anything? I don't blame you. <laughs> he said, there's, they're saying stuff when they die, that's about it. Say something! I don't hate you. I don't hate you. Why? Say stuff! Well, I started playing around with these for a little bit, and now all I can get them to say is this. I'm different. Thanks anyway. That's all they say now. I'm different, thanks anyway. I'm different, thanks anyway. Thanks anyway. Thanks anyway. Uh, this is all they say. Anyway. Uh, thanks anyway. I'm different, thanks anyway. Okay, well, they're not saying anything, but if you smelt a turret into... Wait, it says Oracle turret right now. He was a sentry turret a while ago. Why is he Why is he an Oracle turret now? That's <laughs> odd. Anyway, they turned into a defective turret, which you can place, and now they say some other stuff. You won't regret this. It's my big chance. I won't let you down. You won't regret this. I like how if you just and walk into them, they fall over. Yeah, they're pretty weak. But anyway, um, on, I'm sorry I can't get them to shoot any, to shoot me or anything. They are, they're a little bit buggy. They've always been buggy since I had this mod. And but anyway, um, now to the musical things. Now, if you let me go grab another companion. No, wait, I have a companion cube right here. If you smelt a companion cube. A lot of smelting harmless things in this mod. How? Yeah, I, I was just gonna say that. Yeah. Um. So if you smelt a weighted companion cube, you're gonna get a music disc for the portal, no, the ending credits theme for Portal One, which is called "Still Alive." I'm gonna play a few seconds of of it for you. This was a triumph. I'm making a note here. Huge success. Okay, so you got that, and let me put that back, um, let me steal two of these, and if you craft two of these together, in your know, crafting inventory, it doesn't really matter where, um, you can see that you get the ending credits theme for Portal 2, which is called Want You Gone, since you have two Portal 1 discs, 1 plus 1 equals 2, so Portal 2, one of the <laughs> things is called Want You Gone, and here's what it sounds like. Well, here we are again. It's always such a pleasure. Remember when you tried to kill me twice? Okay, well that's that. And if you re-smelt a still alive disc after you have one, there is a lot of that stuff furnace has been on the whole time. Yeah, it has. <laughs> that's a bucket of lava do. Now, if you smelt a Syllab gives disc, you get a radio loop disc, which is... Yeah, it just sounds like a remix of Still Alive to me. I don't know. I guess whenever you watch this video, since you can't hear anything right now, you can... Um, hear it, I guess? Well, here's what it sounds like. Alright. Um, yeah. So it's just a radio loop, but if you will, pop out all the way over there. I don't know. But if you have a radio loop and five iron, you can make a radio in which you can place down and it just continuously loops the song. And it's ridiculous. It just that radio loops. looks pretty good though. Well, I guess, yeah. It just loops the song and it's kind of annoying. And it's radio. also cool how it's not like locked to the middle of a block. Well you can push it around. <laughs> There's also um, a lot of pushing around harmless things. Yeah, but I'm gonna turn this off, and I'll—I guess I'll turn it back on at the end of the, at the end of the video. But I'm gonna put that in the chest for now. Now, here's my favorite part. 
Now, in Portal 2, the, I tried to reenact the final boss of this game, of uh, Portal 2. Now, you got, I'm... Hey, it's a bunny! What? Looks like a bunny's face. What? That? Yeah! Wheatley, looks like a bunny's face. Yeah, with the ears are at the top, you got the eyes, the nose, and the blue tongue. Okay then, well, okay. Now, obviously, all of you Portal fanboys or girls out there, don't, don't nitpick about how I built Wheatley. I don't know how to build for crap in this game. So, if he looks not alright, oh, okay, I don't, I really don't care. Okay, so, <laughs> you got, now, in the Portal, in Portal 2, you got these three corrupted, um, cores right here, and you have to put them into Wheatley so he gets corrupted. And then I guess that makes him go crazy. And then you can uh, send him to the moon. And is he with... shooting you while he while this is happening? Mm, yes, actually, he shoots Bob. Whoops! Time said no. <laughs> <laughs> Where were you going with that? I don't know. Time said night. Okay, so <laughs> time said no. Um, <laughs> so what you have to do is, well, you have to get these cores, put them in him, make some weird, and then the ceiling blows up. That's why that's there. Um, and then everything's fine and dandy. Now, honestly, I really don't think two th 12,500 is going to be enough to be the, make the moon there whenever the ceiling blows up. So let me set it to like 1,800 or 18,000. There we go. Okay. So if I if I could do an infinite loop right here. Whoops. That's not right. Wait a minute. Okay, there we go. So this may make you a little bit dizzy. I'm sorry. Ugh. Okay, there we go. I've got like some sort of a thing. Now, I gotta push G right now. Okay, I got it. Okay, there we go. okay so I got it. Now, I have to find some. What the? Um, let's just. Let me just uh, put it right there. Okay, so that, that's gonna go that's right there. Acceptable. Uh, now, for the sake of time, I'm gonna go into creative mode and just put the rest on him. Yeah. And pretend they're not there. Um, you gotta. Green. Okay, there we go. So you got all those. Now it looks like a bunny. Okay then. Whatever you say. Um, now you're gonna have to be a little bit careful if you decide to do this, which I don't know why you wouldn't decide to do this because this feature in the mod is awesome. Now he's all crazy now. Uh, pretend that. Now step on he this. You can crazy. hear some TNT ignite, and it blows up the ceiling. Of course the moon's not freaking there. <laughs> no. Tiny render distance on. Oh right. Whoops. That's why. That'll do it. Let me uh, put. Let me put a good render distance back on. Go far. Now that'll do it. Let me turn some music off. Let me turn like the off. Okay. Now. Oh, that's really laggy. Um. Let me. Okay. Let me put it back to a uh, normal. Okay. <laughs> uh, that. That's all right, I guess. Okay. So. I gotta better do this before the moon. Okay. See. See how there's no portals active right now? If I shoot a portal at the moon, there will be a portal active, a portal active right, right there. And if I shoot it right there, it... No! Oh, dang it! I always do that. Okay, well, it sucks you into space, and it drops you from really far away. Um, so, yeah. It looks like mozzarella cheese. No, no, not again. Not again. Why does, it, why does my thing look like mozzarella cheese? It does. Why? It doesn't look like it. Why? Okay, let's not get sucked into space this time. Okay, there we go. So it just sucks in everything, and you can put the port, you can put the other portal wherever, every, anywhere. It just sucks everything up into space, and you'll never see those blocks again. Hey, it looks like the Earth. You can see the Earth in the portal. Yeah, you can. <laughs> uh, I'm just you, you can you can really have fun with this with this part of the mod. I just I just love doing that. You can see all sorts of bedrock. You got the portal. You can see all sorts of bedrock. You can see all sorts of bedrock. My There's only one sort destroyed. of bedrock. You can, my base is getting destroyed. Um, for some reason, whenever those iron blocks go, they look like bedrock for some reason. You got so they get to see, you can see my redstone that I'm destroying. All my redstone. Um, I'll go outside so you can see my awesome redstone contraption. I made a little, in the spirit of the mod, I made a portal one. I, I made, Even though no one's good. <laughs> I made portal colored things. There's the, there's the TNT. There we got the earth. Let's uh, not get sucked into space. Let's, let's destroy everything. Sucking up some 
chest. Bless. <laughs> oh my god, you're totally ruining it. Well, well, good thing I made a backup to the backup of this world. Completely destroying everything. Um, whoa, ah, no. No, 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 I saved myself. Whew, that was <laughs> oh, he just sucked into the bat. Oh, oh, that's bad. Well, anyway, um, this, um, also you can spawn, I hate witches, but let's just spawn some. Um, ah! Um, okay, well, wow. actually, let me, let me set myself into creative, I meant it, survival mode, so you can actually see what happens when you actually go into there. If I can get out, which I can, um, so, if you're in creative mode, you just die if you go there. So, and it says you were sucked to, mo to the moon. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's probably about it. And it's amazing. And you should check this mod out, because it is... This room is the only room intact. Oh, not for long. <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, okay, well, this has been a fun mod. Um, I'm going to kill myself if I keep having that portal there. So uh, let me just put the portal right there and destroy everything. Let's... This is a really boring super flat world. Um, <laughs> let's just destroy everything. <laughs> this mod is really fun to mess around with, especially with this feature. It's really fun to mess around with. Is it multiplayer? No, nah, I don't think it's multiplayer. I hope it really wish it was, though. And then you can troll your friends with this stuff. Well, that's... Uh, I'm guessing that might be one of the reasons why it's not multiplayer. <laughs> that might be a reason why. Oh, sorry, Furnace, you're a trooper. You're burning all that long time. Whatever, does it <laughs> suck in all the... Oh, it does suck in the... It sucks in everything. Everything. Oh, it even sucks in items on the ground. Wow. Let's throw your, uh, throw your portal gun. Oh. Okay, wait, let me... Once I fall down. Wow, well, we've, we've been just recording random crap for a long time. Okay, I'm going to throw this portal gun in there. I'm going to end off with... Uh, and then we'll be back with the next mod review with the mod that I chose to review. Yep. Okay, well, okay. I the moon portal's done. We got the... Uh, let me... Well, I completely destroyed that chest. Never mind. Um, <laughs> goodbye. This has been the portal mod review by iChun. Check it out. This link for the mod's going to be in the description. This is a wonderful mod. And I'm just destroying everything. I'm really a destructive person in this game. <laughs> Okay. Okay, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. See you next time, fellers. You get off of my lawn. I don't know where that came from. Okay, bye.